up everybody, it's Lil D's Pony here, so today we're going to be showing my thoughts for the Baltimore Orioles vs. Blue Lanyons game, uh, it just ended a few minutes ago, they, it, uh, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be like a recap video of the game, and yeah, so stay tuned if you're interested, and so first and foremost, like the video if you like it, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and also, don't forget to go subscribe to my brother's channel, Little Ace Corner, he, you know, he, 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 he hasn't posted in a few days, as I said in my last video a few hours ago, but he's still going to be posting a video sometime later in a few days or tomorrow, but, uh, so stay tuned for that, have you have a notification so, so you don't miss any pit videos, let's get into it. Alright, so my thoughts on the game is really, you know, the, the Orioles did not do good, you know, the, the, they lost 72 against the Indians, and, and my prediction was that they were going to lose, you know, and and I said 73, so I was close, so like if they, had, if they got one more point, I would have been exactly of the score, but uh, you know, I just don't, um, uh, they, they, they did not play good, you know, the, the, like their only scores were um, Michael Franco, he uh, he had a single and uh, uh, I'm sorry, a double actually in the uh, uh, t top of the uh, second. He he hit a ball uh, and then um, Freddie Galvis scored and uh, because Freddie Galvis hit a single, was you know not a single, he hit a double and after that Franco hit one to lead Freddie Galvis in for the score for the Orioles first point and then it was one to one tied up but then. They uh, ended the inning with an out to Stevie Orkerson. He got out, and then after that, the Orioles went back on defense. And then, uh, you know, the uh, the Indians went on the run and scored like four runs. It was four to one. And uh, and after that, sent, and after that, the Orioles sent Matt Harvey out, and then they got in uh, Cole Saucer. Uh, Cole Saucer. He he he, he was over. Uh, his IP was over 0.2. Uh, he, he only allowed one hit, and, uh, ERA zero, uh, uh, BB zero, and solo zero. So he didn't really, he, he, he really, like, Pro Saucer was probably, he probably pitched the best almost in the game. Well, actually, Dylan Tate did pretty good too. He, 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 he allowed no hits, uh, with 1.2 IP. Um, you know, he, he that's bad. It. He only allowed one, and solo to only allowed one. Matt Harvey did not really have his best game, even though he started this game. He was our starting pitcher, and he, he allowed six hits, 3.1 IP, and the ER was five, and bat, uh, bats, balls bat it, it was two, and then solo was two. He wasn't really, he, he, he didn't really have the best game, especially after that third inning, uh, you know, that fourth inning got to him, and then they sent him out. Uh, he allowed up three runs. Well, no, he he allowed four runs, and and after well, he yeah he allowed four runs, but the first three innings he only allowed one. But then after that they went on the streak, and then they got three runs, which you know three plus one is four. So then uh, you know that made it four to one, and they sent him out in the um, top of the fourth. But then after that, um, you know, the Cole Saucer was pitching. He pitched like one or two innings. He did pretty good. Only allowed one hit, which I think is really good, you know, for especially he, he's not even a starter. He's or he, he's one of our bullpen guys, and he still did something there. Um, and here and here's the stats for both teams, like the hits and all that. Cedric Mullins, he, he's our center fielder. He had at bat. He, he he was at bat three times. He runs in, uh, runs uh, like ran in. Uh, he had one home run. Uh, well hit. He had one and uh, uh, blows bad. It was one RBI zero and Trey Mancini. Uh, he had four times four times a bad zero hits one home, uh, one hit. Actually, no, I'm sorry, zero runs in and one hit and zero balls batted and one RBI. Uh, that RBI was the one in the uh, I think it was in the fifth. I think it was in the fifth. Uh, he had a ball. Uh, Mullins went all the way to first to home and that scored the Orioles and they had two and then that was their final uh point and Anthony Santander uh he was he he, he was um he had he had four times at bat zero runs in one a uh, one hit zero uh ball batted and zero RBIs and then they had DJ Stewart our left fielder he had four times at bat he had zero hit, uh, zero runs in one hit and zero balls batted Zero RBIs, and then Austin Hayes, our right fielder, number 21. He 
four times at bat, zero hits, zero, uh, I'm sorry, zero runs in, zero hits, zero um, balls batted, and then zero RBIs in the game. And after that, they had Freddie Galvis at, at um, six, uh, six batting, and then uh, um, he, he, he had four times batted. Well, he was at bat four times. He uh, had one run in. He uh, he hit two. Uh, he, he had two hits, zero balls batted, zero RBIs. And after that, they uh, they had Marco Franco, who had four times at bat, zero um, runs in, one hit, and zero balls batted and one RBI. And then C.B. Wilkerson had four times at bat. He had zero um, uh, runs in. Zero hits, zero balls batted, and zero RBIs. But then Austin wins our catcher. He had three times at bat, zero runs in, zero home runs, uh, well, zero hits, uh, zero um, balls batted, and zero RBIs. And now we're going to switch it over to the Indians. They had uh, Cesar Hernandez. He's the uh, three t three times at bats, two two runs ran in for uh, one uh, one hit and two balls batted and zero RBIs. A uh, man Rosario, uh, he he had, he had five times at bat. He's he uh, he had one run uh, ran in. He had three hits and zero balls batted and one RBI. And then Jose Ramirez, the third third baseman, had five times at bat, zero run, uh, zero run, runs ran in. Zero uh, hits, zero um, balls batted, and zero RBIs. Then they had Eddie Rosario. He had five five times batted, zero runs ran in, one hit, zero balls batted, and uh, um, two RBIs. Bobby Bradley had four um, four times at bat. He had one run, ran one run ran uh, one run ran in. Sorry about that. He had two hits. Zero um, balls batted and two RBIs, and he had a home run in the game. He did good. He was probably their best. He was probably the player of the game for them. Josh, uh, Josh Naylor, he was their right fielder. Four, four times, uh, four times at bat. One, uh, one run, one, one run in, one hit, then zero, zero bat, balls batted in, and zero RBIs. Now Ernie Clement. Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Sorry if I'm wrong. Second baseman, four four times at bat. One run, one run ran in, one hit, zero uh, um, balls batted, and zero RBIs. And then uh, they had Bradley Zimmer, who had three times at bat. He had one run, uh, one run ran in, one hit, one uh, ball batted, and one RBI. And Austin Hedges, he had four, um, four, he's our catcher. He had four times at bat, zero runs in. Uh, zero hits, zero balls batted, zero RBIs, and then their pitcher, they had Cal uh, uh, Concho. Cal Concho, he had 4.0 IP, three hits allowed, ER, he had only one, and balls batted zero, and, and solos uh, four. Blake Park Parker, he had 1.0, two hits allowed, one ER, and zero balls batted and two solos. Phil Matten had 1.0 IP. He had he only allowed two hits, zero ER, zero balls batted, and three um, solos. Uh, Nick War Nick Whitgren, I think, had 1.0 IP, zero hits allowed, zero ERs allowed, and one ball, ball, ball batted and one solo. He had uh, James Kering, I don't know, uh, 1.0 uh, IP, uh, zero hits, zero, zero ERs, zero balls batted, and three solos. Emmanuel Ch Place had 1.0 IP, zero hits allowed, zero ERs allowed, and Zero uh, balls batted allowed and zero. I mean one solo allowed. To be honest, I think the Orioles just didn't really have much uh, going on with their pitching or anything. Matt Harvey really wasn't good in, uh, after that third inning. And you know the you know the the, 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 the you know the Cleveland Indians really have better pitching than them. They really outstand. They really outdo the, the Orioles this game. I really think the Orioles could have done better, but. Well, um, the Orioles play them tomorrow again, 7-10 uh, Eastern time, so I hope those who get them win then, and yeah, that's really my thoughts, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like the video if you like it, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and also spread as much positivity as you can in the world, help the world, and help it be a better place for everybody, and, and I know it's a little late video, but the game just ended a few minutes ago, so just want to do the recap for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you have a great night, and I'm out. Peace.